Welcome sa ating channel. Finally, we are here back to talk about these laptops again. Ito is follow-up video lang po ng ating previous video talking about the Intel processor. Pagdating sa production side, now we will be talking more about the gaming side naman. And it's more on addressing some questions na na-receive ko dun sa ating previous videos. Like, how good is the i7 versus the other i7 laptop pagdating sa gaming na, kumbaga, cooling ang difference nila. And then at the same time, is it better to go for a higher processor yet lower video card or a higher video card video card yet lower processor speaking of Intel Core i9 versus i7 where i9 got an RTX 3070 and i7 got an RTX 3080 kumbaga one version higher yung processor or one version higher yung video card yet on the other side one version lower naman yung processor at the same time one version lower naman yung video card. So, kumbaga dito sa mga tanong na to, medyo iikot ang ating video to address directly those questions and it will be more about na lang sa ating mismong real world performance or yung mismong output. So, discuss na natin all about the processors, all about the H45 and other few technical details. Let's move on sa ating real world performance especially pagdating sa gaming. Now, with that being said and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so wala na masyadong paligoy-ligoy. Let's start with the benchmark. Uunahin natin which is better, i9 with an RTX 3070 or an i7 with an RTX 3080. And here is the performance of all of these laptops. We have this Asus Zephyrus laptop with an i9 processor yet RTX 3070 and then Predator with an i7 and RTX 3080 at the same time. The Aorus which is also the same specification as the Predator. Ngayon medyo may makikita kayong mga konting differences pag dating sa kanilang benchmark and hindi po totally identical yung ating dalawang i7 processors. Pero let's discuss that later. Let's move on first sa i9 versus i7. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison between these two laptops with different processors and different video card. I know this is not anymore an apples to apples comparison pero this will give an idea for others out there who are a bit confused which is which to choose based on specifications. And makikita po natin dito that yes, superior ang ating laptop with just an i7 yet RTX 3080 video card. Kung baga dito mapapansin ninyo na kung pagdating sa production side ng ating previous video, very marginal yung naging difference. Dito sa ating mismo gaming, makikita nyo na na sobrang significant naman ng advantage ng ating RTX 3080 video card over that RTX 3070. Yes, we may think na pagdating sa production, at some point, we always prefer to have the higher processor. Pero dito sa case ng i7 versus i9 H45 processors, wala tayong masyadong nakitang significant difference kung babalikan natin yung benchmark sa production. And at the same time, kung ganun lang din naman yung magiging uh, difference or marginal difference naman, then let's just settle down with an i7 with RTX 3080 video card. Okay? Since tulad yan ang sinabi ko kanina, benchmark won't lie. In real world, sobrang layo talaga ang pinapakitang numbers ng ating i7 and RTX 3080. That was further explained na rin sa ating previous video. So if you want to dig deeper about that, check yung ating previous video all about Intel processors at the same time, production performance of these laptops. Now let's move on pagdating sa cooling performance. And here you have the data of how significant din yung advantage of having a cooler laptop between this Aorus and Predator where the same silang i7, the same silang RTX 3080, same specification pero ang pinagkaiba lang nila of course the chassis and then the cooling implementation. The temperature difference is relative sa performance. Almost 10 to 20 FPS disadvantage para sa Predator. The Aorus significantly win over the Predator pagdating dito sa ating performance benchmark. And this was shown na sa ating previous video all about the Aorus and the Predator pero mas na-emphasize pa natin dito na 
malayo. Kaya for the gamers out there, always choose to have a better video card over a better processor at the same time, a laptop with better cooling system over a higher specification. Because sometimes we always check spec sheets pero we don't check reviews. So this is a perfect way for me to present sa inyo how significant or how important to check the temperature benchmark. Now with that being said, Intel is really one of the go-to laptops nowadays. We have shown that also in other videos that pagdating sa Adobe products, Intel is winning. And here at gaming, I don't want to share anymore a lot of data because this is just a very very quick video about the Intel processors or Intel laptops with powerful video card that if you want to go for a gaming at the same time Adobe production, Intel is the way to go laptop as of now. Yet, kung pupunta naman kayo sa multi-core or 3D render, Rendering, then you may reconsider the competing brand which is also AMD. Pero yun yan, hindi ko na masyadong may expound pa. Abangan nyo na lang yung ating mga next videos. This is just a very quick follow-up video. And at the same time, I cannot do apples to apples comparison din kung between AMD and Intel na meron tayong almost identical video cards na ginagamit. I can just do that pagdating sa production side because the sample that I have from the competitor is quite inferior yung video card na meron sa kanya. So, some guys out there may think na oops, that's quite a biased benchmark and it's not relevant anymore if I will do that. So instead, I just show you how is the uh, comparison between these three laptops at the same time address those questions or relevant questions that I have encountered sa ating previous video. Now, hopefully you have the data about the gaming performance of these laptops and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Comment down below if you want to uh, know more about gaming laptops or you want to have a benchmark of other gaming laptops. We have just resumed so I'm quite sure that in the following days, uh, in the following months, I'm sorry, we will have another gaming laptop benchmark again. A bit more sa mga budget or mid-range laptops, around 50 to 60k. We'll be back to those laptops again. Pero ayun niya, laptop is so fast-paced, so just better check or abangan nyo na lang yung mga upcoming videos natin. And with that being said, thank you very much. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. <music>